In this section of videos, we're going to be looking at number systems and bases. But before we dive into some of the more complex stuff, it's important to outline some of the fundamental basics which will be required for the understanding of these videos. The study of computer science is grounded heavily in the basis of mathematics. And as such, a good understanding of maths is required to understand some of the more theoretical aspects of computing. In this video, we're going to go over some basics, including what are natural numbers, integer numbers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, real numbers, and ordinal numbers. If you already do AAS or A-level maths, a lot of this may be familiar to you. So first of all, what do we mean by a natural number? Well, a natural number is any positive whole number that is used for counting. So we can see some examples up here. And it's important to note that natural numbers also include zero. So we use natural numbers when we say, for example, I've got nine carrots, or a hundred students turned up to the event. Using mathematical notation, we can use this n symbol to represent the set of all natural numbers from naught increasing upwards. The three dots means the set continues in the obvious way. Next, we have integer numbers, which you'll be very familiar with from computing programming. Integer numbers are any positive or negative whole number. And again, the set continues in both directions. This, of course, includes zero. And by definition, the set Z, which is the set of all integers, whether positive or negative, also therefore includes N, the set of natural numbers. Next, we have rational numbers. Now, any number which can be expressed as a ratio or a fraction, such as one fifth, is considered a rational number. The mathematical notation Q is used to represent the set of all rational numbers. And of course, the set Q includes all of Z integers, because we can express any whole number, e.g. three, as a ratio or a fraction, three over one. Next, we have real numbers. Now, this is a very broad category, and it consists of any possible real-world quantity expressed as a number. So, we've got some random examples here. Minus 11, uh, a number of a fractional point, pi, a square root of 4. And these numbers are used for measurements. The mathematical notation for the set of real numbers is R. This is almost all virtual possible numbers. So by definition, the set R encompasses the sets Q, Z and N. The only thing it doesn't include is some imaginary numbers we use in mathematics, such as example infinity. And finally, we have ordinal numbers. This is a number used to describe the numerical position of objects. For example, he came second in the race, or I took the fourth object from the top. Here we have a set, S, consisting of the elements A, B, C and D, and we could say, for example, B is the second item in set S. 